So I want to share with you something really powerful about our relationship with money. And then I have a really powerful question for you to contemplate. About seven years ago, I got into a car. We were going to go on a little road trip in Martha's Vineyard. That's where I lived at the time. And we started talking about what I had learned that day. I, I was following a specific coach at that time that had shared a, a really cool concept that morning before a little road trip that I was fascinated by. He, at the time, this was seven years ago, this was like a, such a revolutionary idea. I hadn't heard this before and I followed a lot of people. I learned from a lot of different people. I hadn't heard anyone say this before. He said, money is freedom. And when I was in that car, so it was five of us total in the car. They were asking me what I learned. And as soon as I said that, there was a guy, older guy in the car. As soon as I said that phrase, he got extremely triggered. Extremely triggered. And I know this person well. It seemed like a different person. And he wasn't aggressive towards me. You could feel aggression, but it was more just like anger, like pent up anger and frustration and everything related to money. Everyone was surprised by his response and reaction. I was very surprised. And at the same time, I just felt maybe as an empathic being, I kind of felt like his the pain and the the sadness, the grief, all the struggle around money, because like I said, I know the person and I know he has struggled a lot with money. And that was, I don't know if the first, but a very clear example of how emotional the topic of money is and the experience of money and how visceral in our bodies we feel things around money. Which is why doing money work that only kind of stays at the level of the mind might not be the most holistic way to approach our relationship with money. Because this person showed me that he had a very like real physical, visceral, emotional response or reaction to that phrase around money, which could just be considered an opinion. Yeah, there's so much I could share with that, but my invitation for you is think of a time when you got pretty triggered around money. And pause the video if you need to. Pause the video if you need to, just take 20 seconds even. Think of a time that you got really triggered around money. And it doesn't need to be triggered in the way that this person did. But also when you noticed how like charged the topic of money is. And for example, I'll share another one that I had in mind before making this video. I've had many examples. If this doesn't resonate, I'll share more. But I've had many examples of me making a big investment and not wanting to tell my parents because I was afraid of how they would see it or how they would judge it or judge me and what they would say. And yes, there's way deeper issues going on there, right? It's not... I've heard other people say like, oh, if you're completely sure of your actions, then you wouldn't need to justify it to anyone. And I've said that in the past because at the time that really resonated. And there's a lot of truth to that. But 
there's deeper things going on there in that example. But what I got really curious about is like, why? Why am I so afraid to share with them the investment that I've made? And of course, a lot came up for me when I asked myself that question, but it's not the point of the video. For example, if you've made investments and they failed and you're ashamed or embarrassed about it and you don't want to tell people, or if you've lost a lot of money in investments or in anything, if you tried a business and it failed and you're embarrassed about it, and if you tried many businesses and they failed and you're embarrassed about it, In some ways, some people say that money is, we tend to maybe attach, if that's the right word, money to our identity so much. And it's kind of fascinating when you'd really take a step back and really look at our relationship with money. There's so much that can be uncovered. And like, I'm gonna ask you so many questions throughout this program that will cover like so many different angles of how you can look at your relationship with money. But ask yourself, what was so triggering about it? What bothered me so much about it? What frustrated me so much about it? And just keep asking why, why, and just try to go a little deeper with that question. And the other question that I wanted to invite you to contemplate is when you think about money, what's the strongest emotion that you have around it? Write that one down, write that one down. When you think about money, when you tune into money, what's the strongest emotion that comes up for you? And below, I'll guide you as to how to go deeper into that. Figure out what's actually going on and release a lot of energy around that.